All right, all right. Welcome to uh, the third quarter podcast show. And um, this is going to be a good show today. Very good show today. I got some I got some ladies in here. Good friend of mine. I got two more good friends of mine in here. And uh, before we get started, I'd like to give uh, some shout out to my sponsors. Um, Uncle Rob's Auto, uh, 119-31 East 7 Mile. Another shout out to Big Daddy's Furniture, uh, East 8 Mile, right next to TNJ Barbershop, another sponsor, my shop. So um, I'm going to introduce the ladies first, starting to my right. We gonna... Chili's, Elise, and Keisha. All right, and then I got two fellas over. I got one more coming here, be in a minute, because uh, y'all see that weather outside. Um Starting to the left, he he's definitely <laughs> they know who he is because I get messages about this dude all the damn time. So they know who he is. But introduce yourself. Well, my name cliche sincere, whichever one is easier. All right, all right. And next to him, all right. My name is Carl with a C. Carl with a C. Yeah, yeah me and me and Carl, um, we became good friends. Absolutely. Bringing his son to the barbershop because we have one thing in common, and that's being good fathers. Absolutely. So that's when you could just tell when you get a hold of good people. But um, today, you know, we're going to start this off because everybody know out here, it's a lot of bullshit going on with men and women. A lot of cheating. A lot of lying at the top of the thing. So I brought some men in here, some women in here, so we're going to discuss and talk about and. You know, I'm going to start it off by saying, you know, you know, what the hell is going on with all this cheating and lying between men and women? Any one of y'all can start it off and get fired up. Well, personally, you know, since you just threw it out there, I just think that today's generation, they don't they don't value relationships now. It's more so more so everybody's thinking about sex and nobody can trust anybody and it's cool not to be in a family and it's cool not to be together y'all just everybody just want to go out and have situationships so I just think that today it's not as popular or it's not the status quo to be in a relationship it's not it's not popular to be faithful it's just popular to cheat yeah I think this generation well my generation is more so like oh well the girls are like, okay, well, guys have been lying so much. We need yeah. to, we want to show them how they treat us. We want to become the guy, but it's like, it's a lose lose, honestly. So it's like you don't get the to value true love. People don't even look for true love no more. It's more so like, well, hey, yeah, what let's is just love? have fun because nobody can trust nobody. Right, so. sus, come on, sus, because you don't mean you talk all the damn time. You're well, a firecracker too. Tell it For like me, it is. I think it starts from the home. Um, a lot of us men and women are not loved. And when you don't feel love, you don't know how to give love. When you don't feel love, you don't know how to give love. So nobody wants to be in a relationship. Everybody wants to do what everybody else is doing. And I also think it's a fear of what love and relationships look like. So if you don't see it in your home, how do you know how to go out and give it? For example, you yourself, you could have come from the family that showed you how to love, how to communicate, um, how to love. Your father could have showed you how men love each other, and then your mother showed you how man and woman love each other, okay? But if you meet somebody, and let's just say it could be me, and I come from a broken home, then here comes a problem because you can't fix everybody. And then if I don't know that I have a problem and you're dealing with me, it's going to always be confusion. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a lot of two. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have. I think my opinion is a little different. Um, as far as cheating and lying goes, lying is because you're afraid of something. It's fear. Because I think cheating and lying is the same. Um, I just had to say it. Yeah. I, I mean, if you're cheating, you obviously lying. But yeah. You could be and lying you about lying, something. you cheating. You could be lying about your finances. What you cheating on? Yeah. To that person who you with. Well, when it comes to commitment, cheating could be described as a lot of different things. Agreed. If you're taking something away from your partner, if you're taking something away from your so partner, are we talking about a partner else, or are we talking about a marriage? Well, cheating. Well, I'm I'm going to view. We're going to just just use the word commitment. Okay. Instead of using the word dating. Okay. If you're exclusive with somebody. Okay. If you're taking something away from that person, 
and giving it to somebody else, that's cheating. Because I, I, I would be a lot more hurt if a woman cheated on me emotionally than if she cheated on me physically. For sure. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to cry. So, <laughs> again, <laughs> yeah. the, the whole lying is fear. You're lying because you're afraid to either lose something or make someone decide on whatever behavior that you're exhibiting. And then the cheating and lying, same thing, but it's the immediate gratification. Mm-hmm. Immediate gratification. I want this, I want that, I want it all. So I'm going to do it. Yeah. And here's the lying part because, well, I want to do what I want to do, but I don't want to give you the option to choose to either deal with it or not deal with it. Right, right. So, See, I think, I think a lot of it, too, come from right now in this country as a whole. I feel like we... We are so caught up in, I won't even just blame it on social media, but I'll say uh, the perception of what reality is. You know, we have so many of these shows that they call them reality shows, and they're not reality shows. They're soap operas. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was growing up, and I'm not going to tell my age, but when I was growing up watching all my children, it was interesting, but I knew it was not real. Right. Now, when I watch Housewives of Atlanta or... Uh, Black Ink Chicago, I think this is real. Not me personally, but I'm saying in general. Right. And we mimic and try to do things in our everyday life based off of what we see there because we want so many likes on one of our social medias and whatnot. And I think we get so far away from the reality of life in general. And it's Mm. just, I think that's a big part of it. Right, right. You know what? And... Because I had these ladies here, and I know we got one more guy coming. I really wanted to bring y'all together so y'all can ask these men any kind of question y'all want to ask, Uh-oh. and they can ask y'all anything. I Because me and my sisters, we sit here, and we ask each other some crazy shit. We get <laughs> mad. We fuss at each other. And I see her the following week, and we be right back the same right, way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was another reason to bring y'all together so y'all can just ask these men whatever. I'll tell you this, y'all don't kind of uh, took me down a notch because, like, I can appreciate the maturity. The like, snow ain't do it? No. The, the, <laughs> listen, I thought the, the snow yeah, did it. Listen, the, the maturity in the room, the maturity in the room changes the tempo. So, like, I'm generally the person I got to I gotta swing with the tempo. If it's up, you know, I got to bring it down. If it's down, I got to bring it up. But it's, like, now I get to, you know, in all honesty, I get to lay back and be a gentleman today. Well, well the thing I is, go. The, Listen, thing I go is the thing is, with the third quarter, what I'm what I'm starting, and my co-host, Five Star, she, she couldn't be here today. We You can't hear nobody talk if you're yelling. Right. You can't hear nobody talk if you're not letting somebody talk. Their opinion is their opinion. So that's why I started this. And, you know, and I want people to ask questions and talk assertively and, you know, speak your mind. Because this people, is podcast, you can speak your mind. When people honest, it's easier to have a conversation. Like, um, clearly you can, you know, tell through a person's tone. Like, you spoke mm-hmm. in your generation, which basically means you called us all well, old. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm not saying that, but you I'm know. just saying I'm maybe the youngest person here, and I feel yes, like you, it's a different. You are the youngest right. person but, here. But you know what? Yeah. But you know, you know this is a veteran are. show. Let me this is a veteran show today. This, let me tell you something that, that people in general notice, though. If you're the youngest person in the room and you sit next to two other ladies who may or may not be older than you, you know, see how careful I was with that. It's okay. Right. And they then still fine. and then the maturity level, the maturity level is all equal. Then that show, you know, that showcases uh, uh you know how the tempo, like yeah, realize we some somebody looking at us. You know what I'm saying? So it keeps the flow even. But is if the topic is honest, if it's an honest topic and everybody is being honest, ain't nobody running away from the topic, that makes it, you know, that really makes a uh, lays a good foundation. Okay, which one of y'all got the first question? Oh, I make it count. Y'all got listen, no, I want to know. Now, now listen, like, I will what say are some that deal you breakers. Like, now, wait a minute. Listen, let ahead. me say this. Make it count. So you, you have to remember, if we're here to be honest, mm-hmm. right, don't ask me what my favorite color is. <laughs> what is your favorite right. color? I doubt it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But I'm talking about, like, yeah, you, you, make, listen, right. you make it count because now you get to, 
you get to uh, dig. If you get to dig deep, these are the questions you can't necessarily ask somebody that you may or may not be seeking to get involved with. Hand me that bell right there, yeah. cause cliche gonna get the bell. <laughs> cliche gonna get the bell. Yeah. <laughs> You know right, I'm saying? listening. Yeah, okay, you gonna get the bell cliche now. I went. I'm waiting. She said, "What was your question? What are some of your deal breakers when you meet somebody you're interested in them and like they have all of these great qualities, but you choose to just not pursue it any longer?" I'll tell you. For me personally, it's when within that first conversation, I get it that you know you've had enough of the BS out here in the streets, but trying to paint that picket fence and walking down the aisle within the first conversation is you moving too fast. Slow your roll. I mean, I'm sure you guys feel the same way about some of our action, but for me personally, I mean, I don't even like wearing a coat in the winter because I don't like being held down to the commitment of it. And that's not to say that I don't at some point want to be in a committed relationship. Mm -hmm. But let's get to know each other. I'm old school. I'm okay with us being friends first. You know, I don't I don't gotta get the draws the first night. If I do, hey, not saying that that's the end of the world and I'm gonna look at you some kind of way, cause it might not be that. But for the most part, I'm trying to see where your head at. I don't honestly think that a man can sleep with a woman on the first night and not think anything different, like not think anything about her. I think that I think all men are afraid of commitment, to be Ax. honest. Ax. Well, are all Mama men. Soul. Listen, guess who this about? I would. This, I would. Yeah. Guess who this about? Right. So so this is OK. This is why I say this. This is why I say this, because, OK, I do feel like if a man meets the one he knows, but I feel like at a certain point in a man's life, that like from a young age to maybe a, maybe you know I'm not even gonna give it an age because I think that all men they just don't like commitment. I guess I would ask do you guys are all men afraid of commitment or do you feel like well, just well, the response? Oh, let me flow on that. Let oh, me flow okay. on that. No, no, because hit it, hit it with your status first. What what what's that? You've been married. No, no, no. You're I ain't. I'm not. Commitment. I'm not gonna go through that. I'm. I'm, <laughs> let me, let me, I'm. I'm gonna tell you. Well, I, I'm glad she asked that because you gotta understand she's younger than us. Right. See, a but lot of older men. Yes, yeah, she a good do. Point. A lot of men that I talk to my age, they want to be in something committed. Real men, though, men that's not bullshitting with themselves and everybody else, and it's only a small percentage of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of them full of shit. Now, let me, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. I feel like today people just want to get married because they want to be posted and they want it to be, it wanna, it's, the, it's the image of it. It's not really the relationship no more. It's not like we're building with each other anymore. We're not doing something real. I just want to show I'm married, so uh, I just want to be looked at because I'm the married woman. I'm this, but y'all not even happy in your relationship. Is there a real relationship mm. to that? Mm. I would say I want to I want to go back to your first comment about the first you know sleeping with each other on that first night. Because it's, it's ready. <laughs> because <laughs> you can have that happen, and, and I will say me personally that stuff like that happens. We human, but it's how you rebound from that. If you treat it like if it's just that, the next time or we don't communicate, then yeah. But I can tell you that I've had some decent relationships in the past where. That's why we did it that first time is because we hit it off and the communication was there. Granted, that ain't what you normally would do, but I, again, it's the reaction afterward. And I will tell you all, and I'm giving up maybe one or two male trade secrets tonight. <laughs> my guys will hit the bell if I go too far. <laughs> but my thing is this. Um, I will respect a woman based off of the way she handles and carries herself and the level of respect that she demands from a man. And most men are that way, believe it or not. So many times I think women are worried about how a guy's going to react to them and not being themselves. Mm -hmm. Trust me. He might not like what you're saying. Y'all heard this many times as a kid from your parents. You might like, not, may not like what I'm saying, but you're going to listen. If you be like, look, dog, it ain't that, yeah, it's going to do one thing. It's going to weed all, all the guys that ain't serious. But if a guy's serious about you, he'll respect that and accept it. He might not like it at the time, especially if you didn't got him all worked up, but he'll appreciate it down the road, and he'll treat you as you treat yourself and the expectation you set. Yeah, all that body language. Go on, say Ready, so. sis. No, yeah. I mean, um, well, there's a couple of things. First of all, most of my friends are men, 
And I agree, I have a couple that have slept with women on the first night, and it's been like a 10-year relationship. Then it's been some, I'm like, oh, Lord. I don't know, it's too many women coming at one time. But I also know, like him being my friend, he was the first guy that I met. I have only two. Him and another guy, I can't say his name. They're the best men I know in terms of being right. I don't know if it took maturity. I have one that's been like that his whole life. I'm just like, oh, you are such a lame. Which mm-hmm. is a good thing, though. Not in a bad way, okay. but he was rare. and still is. And when I met him, I met him. We were out, and there was, there was a young lady. She was a beautiful young lady, <laughs> well-dressed. And I, kept, I would watch him every week, and he was with her. So he would come, and he introduced himself because I was sitting at the table with them. So he bought me a drink. He's taking care of everybody. Mm-hmm. We became friends, but I'm watching her. I'm watching him. I'm watching women just all over him. But him, he was like, hey, how you doing? I kept it to moving, and was right. all over her. I'm like, oh, I like him. He is on point. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't figure out why she was different. She was like, really? And I'm like, what is he doing? He must be a hot mess. She I'm thought like, I was fucking because up. Because I'm looking. I'm like, okay, he's a nice looking guy. <laughs> she did. I'm like. <laughs> she thought I was a fuck up. Uh, you know, when you size a person up, I'm like, okay, he has a nice car. Still didn't know, like, actually what he had going for himself. Mm-hmm. And when I got to know him, I was just like, oh, my gosh. Not to say that he's not perfect, because I talked to him and I said, hey, listen here, brother, you could work on this. You need to fix that. But I didn't understand it. I said, why is it not you're with this guy? But when I got to weed out, you know, some other things, I'm just like, oh, okay. She's not ready. She's right. out here still trying to play the field, and you're trying to wife her because his thing is, look, I don't have time. I don't want to play. Right. I'm looking for a wife. And everybody is not ready for that, which at her age, I would think. But yeah. I can't judge her, but I'm exactly. just saying, um, I know I can. for me, <laughs> um, <laughs> to be honest, um, and I'm going to speak to the marriage thing. So I've never had a one night stand, and let me tell you why. Not that I never wanted, not that I didn't want to, because I hung around so many men and I saw what they did. Mm-hmm. So they would talk about them, but then the guys that I hung around, I called them pedigrees. I'm like, oh y'all are good ones. Y'all sleep with them and still take them out, treat them nice, and then go to the <laughs> next one. So I was just like, oh. So when guys would tell me that, I felt bad. I would cry. I'm like, oh, he doesn't like me, but I said, oh well, better them than me. Okay. Now I'm not saying I was perfect because I was not that perfect girl, but what I'm saying. That was the only thing I think that kept me to be as pure as I tried to be. You know what I'm saying? So I was a late bloomer, and guys would tell me, oh, I'm out of here. Bye. You don't you won't want to give me none. But then later on, they surface like, oh, I should have stayed with you. Exactly. Beat it. We're all exactly. set. Exactly. And not so much because you, you were young, so I give you that. But I learned later on after um, getting married what being married was. And it's not the picket white fence. There are good marriages. But it's work. It's work like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. But I feel like every relationship is work. And I, I get what you're saying, but I feel like today people are getting married just to say that they're married. People aren't in love anymore. So I, I'm not saying that there aren't real relationships. I'm not saying that marriages are supposed to be perfect. I understand any relationship you have to work at to keep because it takes more than love to be in a relationship. Oh, yes. it, it exists, but the thing is you got to realize that people are not pushing or promoting certain things publicly. The people that are truly happy, a lot of the people that are truly happy, you don't see them. They're not talking about it. Right. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, the, like, we want to call it the generational curse. Like, this social media thing has it put us in a position where you learn more about somebody through their social media than you, than you do personally. Like, we right. all just met in this That's room. That's not even true, right? Yeah. Right. And I, I've had, like, you know, y'all came in after we did. But we had a conversation me and, and Keisha, you know what I'm saying, had a conversation. And as a gentleman, I struck up a conversation with her in the hallway. And, and through the respect of that conversation, like there was no boundaries between us. You know what I'm saying? Things have to start like that. Like energy, different people display different energy day one. So you have to be mature enough to handle those sexual innuendos and things like that. There are people that are mature enough to handle it Um, no statement or situation pertains to all men and women so we have to look at it like that sometimes but a lot of it is trying to get to understand one another that's why I said make the questions count because okay I'm ready for somebody to ask somebody a good ass question so when you're seeing someone Mm -hmm. here we go and they're 
I'm dating. Mm -hmm. I'm dating, which means I can date who I want. So what I need to know is what detours you from dating someone that is dating or is there this ego thing that says I want to take her off the market and then that's the end of it. We are going to proceed from here. Or are you okay with someone dating multiple people? Uh, you, you want me to hit this one? No, let me, I'll ask you. Yeah, I ain't going to have to hit the bell, am I? <laughs> no. Okay, <laughs> ain't hit it quick. Bell. All right. <laughs> um, I was married for a very long time, so I had to learn to be safe. the dating experience. Um, if I meet a, a young lady or, you know, if I meet a woman that's interesting, I'm focused on the time that I have with her. I'm not focused on what she's doing outside of me because she's going to display the things that she wants to display to me, and then I get to make a decision. If I want more time from her, I have to influence that. I'm not going to expect it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'll play my role, and I'll learn that woman as I'm, as I'm going along. I might learn everything I need to know in a day and be like, listen, I need to keep you. And even if so, I have to sit back because I, I can't force anything upon that woman. So I'm a, you know, I'm a deep guy, so I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to listen. But I'm personal. So I would rather go home and cook than to be out where everybody could see us and stuff like that so I can have a more personal experience with her. I want people to see us. No, I'm talking about, I mean, this, this is going to come. No, because I want to show my, she know, I want to no, show no, my, if we in some committed, I want to show you the hell off because no, I'm no, happy. No, but you're not one. committed. This, you're not this, committed. No, no, I'm saying if I'm committed. No, no, we ain't got there no, yet. No, yeah, no, no, we, we ain't got there yet. Do we record anymore? Can we not Absolutely. go on a date? For Can sure. we not go out on Go ahead. Absolutely. Listen, go ahead, sis. Listen, in several, in several, in a couple of shows, I used the word court, and people looked at me like I was crazy because I've never dated in my life. I was married 22 years. Mm -hmm. The second woman I married in a week. The first woman I married in a year. I court. I knew who I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Courtship is, is, a, is a word used of maturity. That's a, that's a word used in faith and things of that nature. Courting is not something that you throw out there. Courting is not what, what, when you were speaking of your experiences, not to judge the experience, when you're speaking of your experiences, the people around you aren't using the word courting. Well, courting, I'm, courting means that you're looking for something significant. Right. You, I yeah. know exactly what courting means. When I'm speaking of what I was speaking of, it's mm -hmm. not per se my experience, but what I see in my, what I see. Just because I'm speaking on what's, what's now, what's happening around me. But I know that, because I'm in my faith, I know what courting is. Courting mm -hmm. is when you're, trying to see if that's the one that you're going to marry right trying to see if what we're doing i'm going to be with you for the rest of my life you, so for me Corden, when you say oh well can i um take you to my house can i cook that's fine i that's i appreciate that that's a lot of effort but can we go out can we go out oh, on we a date? Do all can that. We, Listen, why we, do we have to be at home at first when we're courting no, but you do realize we're talking about one one experience the the part of the process is that's just more personal See, inviting someone to your home in a day and time where there's no privacy, that's more personal. Well, I guess where I'm coming from is mm -hmm. it's always Netflix and chill with oh, no, people. I'm just, that's that over. young shit. Yeah, right, right, right. Because I got young friends, and that's all they talk about. Yeah. yeah you know, after, yeah. I, after I go to the movies and Buffalo Wild Wings. Listen, I, I tell you um, this. No. Listen, the, the no. area that I come from. House and Netflix. The area that I come from, my parents didn't have a TV in the bedroom. Absolutely. You know why? Because that's where you communicate it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of things that's different. You know, yeah. it's, it's a lot I of things. I want to go Hitting back to question. your question, though. Go ahead. Oh, Wait, okay. Because I, I, I like that question, uh, just to kind of summarize, make sure we are back on the same page. You was talking about, you know, just dating and dating other people and, you know, just, you know, establishing that. If, if, the, if the, for me, and this is real simple, unmet expectations. So what I mean by that is, mm -hmm. We set these expectations. I'm not talking about unrealistic expectations, but if you set an expectations in that relationship, people can either accept it or not. It's kind of like when you go to buy a car. You either going to buy that car based off of everything being what you want and, and being in your price range, or you're not. You know, in a relationship, even a new relationship, okay, we dating, let's make sure that that's clear. You know, too many times we assume, and, and I will say, and, and it's going to open the can, but I think too many times women assume that a guy knows something. Mm -hmm. You could be in a relationship for six months, and you assume that, well, you should just know that I don't want you. 
I'll be careful with my example. I don't want you liking pictures on social media with big booty bitches. You know, if if that's something that you offended by, <laughs> we need to have that conversation because at the end of the day, that man may be like, I don't think it's that's a big deal. But you got to set that expectation. Now, once it's set, and then it's a problem, okay. But for me, if I'm dating a female and I see she went on there and she liked the picture of whoever the latest, you know, nice-looking guy is that they like, Odell Beckham or Tyson Bedford or whoever it is, I don't care. Do you. If that's what you like, you like it. That don't mean that I feel like at the end of the day, okay, I got to go do 25,000 sit-ups so I can look just like him. No, that ain't what it mean to me. What you just like at? the picture. Let's go, okay. sis. At the end of the day, Let's I'm going to keep it moving. Okay. Let's go. So I agree and disagree. Okay. Okay, Tyson Beckford versus you liking her picture, one of my friend's pictures. That's because like she got a big butt. It's, it's an issue. So you bring um, up. So, but let me just say this. First of all, I'm a very secure woman. I know that men are physical. I can be with a dude, and guess what? I know you, especially if I know you're, you know, I'm your type, and I see something that's also your type. I've seen her and sized her up before you did. I don't have a problem. Look, you're a man. I look, but don't okay. be disrespect. You don't have to do this. But you can Most look, definitely. size her up. If me and you face to face, I'm not, I can't control your eyes. You're a man. That's why it's my job as the woman or your woman to keep it tight all the time. I tell people that even, even being in a relationship or being married, I have a hard time walking around looking any kind of way. I'm like, I got to fix up all the time because men are physical. But you still have to draw that line. That expectation, okay. absolutely. Hit on Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce, she's a beautiful woman. But not my sister or my, but you can't be, my best can't friend. Be, yeah, you I don't agree with my that. Girlfriend I can feel you on that. Mike, but also, my thing, I understand you guys don't know everything, but I'm going to be honest. If we're in a relationship. I do. <laughs> I'm going to be in a, we're in a relationship, so right? So you're in a relationship. Break it down for me. If, when you're in a relationship, first of all, as a woman, we're because we're in, okay, we, we're nurturers. I think you abusive. Not, not at all. No, 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 no. no. Hey, listen, now, not. Uh-uh. I'm talking about you. You, I'm thinking. I was mm-hmm. just sitting there thinking about it. You beat your man up. No, I was just playing. I was just playing. I've come no, a long way. I've never been all physical. This. No, I'm just. I'm <laughs> no, 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 no. She not physical. Been, I know her. She fit. You know, she, she really, she really good. And again, my play brothers have said, listen, if you want a husband, you have to change A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I've had to learn. I don't think we can be like this all in your face, but then be like this. Make up your mind. So I'm all right with sitting back playing a woman role. Do that again. Some time. Like, do that again. We can't do this. And, and then you need like some. This. Right. Right. Okay. Got to be you know, I've had to learn. You can't talk down to a man. You want, I've had to learn those things, but I am going to say this. If I'm your mate, some things I know I won't know, but for the most part, if I'm paying attention and I'm listening to what you're saying, I'm going to know what your needs are. Oh, and a lot of times so I feel like people miss the boat. Men and women. It's not just Men, we miss it too, but I'll tell you this. If I turn over and look at you every day and say, when I get out the bed, what do you need for today? That's my job. I can't say, ooh, Elise, you're a good wife because you do A, B, C, D. If that's not what he needs, you're not being a good wife. Absolutely. You have to give that person what they want do and women what have, they need. Do women have that conversation? Absolutely. Uh, don't I, talk so much and have your hand out? Do I, women have well, that conversation? Amongst my friends, we do. Okay. And if one of us are out of order, we tell each Cause other. Because when we say it, y'all know it. When we say it, we the biggest bum in the world. I but you shouldn't have to get to a point where you have to say that. No, I'm just saying we talking about reality. I ain't talking I about who are you dealing reality. with is the question. No, no, just society. Yeah. No, <laughs> but I yeah. say that. No, I'm that's gonna agree with him. Who I who see are you, and, who and are you? Okay, like so that. then that's gonna take me to this point. Okay. I've seen women and I'm forty five. Okay, I'm a proud of mine. I hope everybody else gets there. forty. Now Going on 46, okay. But what I will <laughs> say this, but I've still been, I've still been me all my life. Right. I feel like we do what we were raised to do. And I see men dealing with these women, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm mad. I'm like, really? You passed me up for that? Yeah. And I see her disrespectful talking and doing all kind of things. You come like, oh, she did this, that, and the other. But I was quality. He, like you say, he wasn't ready. Well, he wasn't ready. I, I understand, but even now, if I see men doing that, and go, I'm like, oh, my gosh. And then you'll see, I know people, and I'm like, y'all still in a relationship? She's disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Not to say that he's an angel, but I'm saying, to me, that's out of order. Right. You know, even if you, you guys are out in public, okay, go in the car, honey. I would send you a text. Get your ASS to the car. We need to talk. You don't have to do it out amongst everybody. It doesn't well, listen, matter. I, I, you got to ask another question then. 
You got okay. it. You don't well, took. She had one. one. Let me. She let had me. One. She had a good no. one, but then this other stuff. No, we flowed. got. We got a good one from you. Now okay, we gotta so. go. We got because you get. I know you got. I got a good one. Okay. I got you a good one for ladies. And I'll come yeah. with my yeah. question. I don't. Okay. Now, come on, remember, hit, remember listen, you. Listen, this you, is got, you got I veterans see. in the room, y'all. Stay. Hit us hard. <laughs> ain't nothing we ain't already heard. Right. Listen, you being a lady, we respect the fact you're a lady. Go on, let it out. Hit it. I mean, you know, I guess if I did have a question, um, do y'all feel like at this point in y'all lives right now, I guess, what do you all want? Like, are you guys looking for a relationship, or are you okay with it being? Well, you're married, so I guess. Oh, me? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just looking for I said, a man. I said, when you, I wish when you I said was that, married. When you, when you said that men kind of avoid commitment, commitment yeah. I'm saying this is not a man who avoids commitment. He's been married. He was married for, for a generation. This girl right here, yeah. she know me. I've been looking for a relationship for a long damn time, and okay. I've been trying You've been looking, actively looking. I've been looking, dreaming, acting. With it all circle D for all the above. I don't have to work on me no more. No? I'm done. I work on me more when I meet her because I don't know her. But why you can't work on you and prepare yourself for that? No, 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 no. What that means is when you meet somebody, you start to make your adjustments towards that person. That's what I meant now. You see how we read? We can read off each other because we both... Of age, we both been married X amount of time, See, and, and we both stuck and, and, in the world where we gotta look. And 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 working on me, working on me, and she know I have to be happy with me every fucking day I wake up. Right. Financially, physically, me is me. I have to be happy with me. There's no way in hell I can make a woman happy. Can I just jump in and give a good point? Oh, don't go talk ahead, about go ahead. that I want you to. Because, I want you to. Uh, in this day and age, I think that's important that men hear and understand that uh, not because you need to be in the situation where you're going to try to take care of a woman mm -hmm. but you need to be financially where you feel mm -hmm. you should be mentally because you need to be working on you now if you know you're in a situation where you can't afford to even be trying to pursue somebody else that go back to the point that you be brought to up your about damn self. and you trying to you. I think you <laughs> was trying right? to hit on that, and I don't want to put I'm words sorry. in your mouth, but I think yeah. you was trying to hit on it when you said, uh, you know, what is it that the man want? Do he want a commitment or whatnot? And are you happy with yourself before you go out there and do that? I ain't happy with myself if I ain't financially right, because that means I'm barely taking care of myself. So yeah, I shouldn't be trying to entertain no woman. I have my sexual needs at the end of the day, absolutely, but those have to wait. Because it ain't no different than if I ain't got a roof over my head and I'm living out here on the street, I ain't think about no ass. Right. <laughs> I'm see like, how, damn, I gotta survive this snow. Listen, it's rare that money comes up responsibly between men and women. It's generally always a debate. But that made yeah. all the sense in the world. Yeah. If I'm not right, why would I even be trying to pursue a relationship? Well, you know, if I'm mm -hmm. not right, how can I pursue trying to be in a commitment where I'm supposed to have a role? You know. I have a question for you. Do you all like speak to the men and the younger generation, even though some, you know, people think how they think or they're caught up in this Instagram or social media? Do you tell them that? Because if they're not coming from that type of home, like, mm -hmm. ooh, and for the most part with us, a lot of us are not. Right. So I don't know you guys. I don't know if it, you just learned it or if you it was. Listen, what do you think about me since you know me? What you think? Because you know I'm speaking at schools. I'm speaking to young people all the time. I, and I, I, I commend you for that. You know, we need. I mean, but only it's only a few of us. I'm just saying, yeah, there's so yeah. many of us that are we're going through this. And I, for you, um, you know, may you be blessed and get <laughs> the best man ever. That's for you. But it's hard out here. She just like basically me, said it's fucked up out here. It yeah, is. It, is it is fucked is. up out here. And it but is. guess what? She's mm -hmm. young. So I'm but gonna say not, this to you. Worse. Let me just say this to you. Oh, I'm I'm starting over. So yeah. I'm 45 and starting over. But guess what? I know I'm good stock. I'm going to be all right. But I love me. So whether I'm with somebody or without, I love me. Took me some time to get there, but I'm there. But for you, what I am going to tell you, the advice from an older woman to a younger woman. Look at y'all teaching each other some shit. I think <laughs> I, did, I want you to look at who you date. Look at the family. 
look at the relationships that they have amongst each other. Because I'm going to tell you this. I say if you follow a monkey home, a gorilla will open the door. I knew that was coming. That's my favorite line. Say that one more time. If you follow a monkey home, a gorilla will open the door. Now, you have exception to the rule. But what I'm going to say, so you have a baby with a man who their family has like genetic things wrong with them and then your baby it could possibly it could happen to your child your child could doesn't have to act like the daddy you could act like the grandmother the cousins you have to be very careful but you want to have communication if he can't communicate if he can't do what they said provide i'm not saying take care of you for me let me tell you what a man is the acronym meet all needs and some of her wants and desires meet all needs that's a man you need a roof over your head you need food and then some of, if he can afford it, we don't have to put all that pressure, you know, because we want this, we want whatever. If you meet my needs, I'm good. So that's what I want you to think about when you're starting to date. And a let me jump in man. and add that yes. you need to have your shit kind of together as well. Exactly. Because too many times, and this is my opinion, I meet so many women that think because their ass is fat, is she enough. supposed to have the All over my account good. number to my bank? I say this, I say this every because two weeks. Because they got a fat ass. That don't mean it's like, smell you can't good. Cook. Listen, I say this every time. <laughs> Listen, you every come every from an effed up family? Was you raised on survival or was you raised on, raised on love? Which right. brings me to my question I was going to ask. Do you guys feel, is it a deal breaker whether a woman has a dad in her life or not or comes from a good background or not? Is that a deal you breaker? No. It that's, depends. That's Listen not to a deal me. I have parents. <laughs> all right? My daddy wasn't shit, but he took care of me. But he didn't necessarily carry my mother. My mother was hurt. She wasn't shit. I love my parents. I'm going to say it. We grown, right? I didn't learn how to love from my parents. Okay, make it quick. We got 10 minutes. Well, about seven minutes left. So So we, uh, how a woman carries herself, I learned. I'm a God-fearing man, and instead of going into religion, I had to learn from somewhere else. So I had to learn from a couple of my friends who had two-parent households. I had to learn from, not necessarily from an institution, but from my studies. I had to, oh, you know what, I don't bump my head, I don't see my people bump their head, let me try to do something different. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it at that. Let me ask these ladies something right quick. Real quick, I want y'all to give me this answer. What is y'all value? What is your value that you don't need to just give that shit away? Because a lot of men don't deserve it. Whatever. Because each one of y'all have a value in y'all. And sometimes y'all give it away too soon. Or don't give it away at all. So run through it. What is y'all value? And that, that, that question ain't got nothing to do with no man. Yeah. That question is, is self-imposed. That's I, self-worth. Can you explain when you say value, though? Like something, say, something. Um... Out? All that body language you used, mm-hmm. where you said you were worth it and you were prized and all that, but it ain't got nothing to do with us. It's what you feel okay. about yourself. Okay. Okay. Well, I can answer me. Go ahead, babe. I feel like I'm genuine. I'm, I know how to communicate. Ooh, I'm compassionate. Um, I'm loving. I, I was loved. I mean, my father wasn't there, but I have, yeah. had a grandfather that showed me how to love. I had a mother that was very educated, and she knew our history and told me where it all stemmed from. Mm-hmm. So she said, you respond in love. So I'm, I'm strong, um, but I just know that and I, I can cook. I can do I'm not perfect, but what I am is <laughs> I always stand in my mess. Mm-hmm. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I say, oh, this is something I need to work on, if you bring it to my attention, I'm willing to work on it. I'm not opposed to counseling. There's nothing wrong with it. Her the answer thing is, I know I'm not perfect. There. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not at Come all. on. No, I'm talking about, I ain't saying a bad okay. way. No, no, no. no. I mean, you look like you were feeling ass. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. yeah. That's that sister I, see, empowerment I'm, I'm thing. Me, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm that was a, that was simple. a supportive gesture. Absolutely. That's yeah. it. I, I love it. I feel like you I just love, said the value is extremely yeah. simple because I would have said the same thing. Man I'm is, so simple. It, man is life. My value is life. My breath. Every breath that I breathe, I'm breathing into somebody else. I'm responsible for me. I'm responsible for my household. I'm responsible for my community. So my value comes with breathing in life into other people, period. That just bring me some donuts everything. during the clean. Man, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's cake in there that you I'm haven't eaten. It. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying don't worry about that. Yeah. Did you see the stomach on me? Yeah. You see this duck shake? I'm trying to fill it up. Right. Youngster, what's your value? My value, I would say. Um, oh, let me say this. Yours mean more to us. Want me to tell you absolutely. why? 
Let me tell you why. why? Because you are from another generation. You are the generation of our children. Mm-hmm. See, we don't all live life. You still have to get to where we are. Mm-hmm. So we value what you're talking about. You know, we value each other, but you are, like, you the future. <laughs> mm-hmm. And vice versa. Yeah. I value everything that I'm hearing from you guys. My personal value for me is that although I am, I'm 24, by the way. Although I am 24, I've been through a lot of things in my life. I've been through so much to where I feel like I know what it's like to be at every different situation or point in your life. I know what it's like to be down. I know what it's like to feel up. So I feel like I'm very understanding to a lot of things. I'm very um, nurturing and, and passionate and can be a, a helpful to a lot of things because I understand. Because I don't hear y'all, a lot of young people say, what you just said, I don't hear young people say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope, I don't. And well, that's I, rare. You know, I think that... You know you special? Well, you know, yes, I know. Okay. You know, I do know that. <laughs> I... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think you said that, your dad was still in your life? No. Actually, my dad is not in my life, but I don't think that that made me less than. I think that that made me more than because I know. Yeah, yeah. Because it depends it depend on you scared. because I didn't have yeah. a father in my life. Yeah. That didn't make me a bad father. Yeah, that, that made yeah. me a hell of a father. It made me. It's going to make me So I, even the same question to you, Carl, like what is your value? Uh, I would tell you my value is really getting to understand and know who I am as a person mm-hmm. and being happy with that. I think that's I mean, the number one problem with men. They don't know who the fuck they are. I mean, it, 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 they don't. it takes some men time. Men don't know who the fuck they are. It you takes know, somebody told me I was going through yourself. a midlife crisis. Yeah. And I said, well, I went through that and bought a damn Corvette. <laughs> and, 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 and I mean, I, I have dated women as young as. Uh, What's the attraction to the younger women besides youth? Um, <laughs> I have none. <laughs> no, no. I, I mean, no, it's no uh, competition for youth. I, I, I will, no, no, I just, I, 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 I'm, I'm a, I will say yeah. it's, yeah. it's, it's no not a specific to, yeah. to just okay. a, a okay. young woman, but I will say that, you know, whoever it is that I date, it's going to be based off of how we communicate. And when I set my expectation, and I, I shouldn't say set, but when I express, because I'm not setting anything, I don't make uh, ultimatums. But when I express my expectations uh, to whoever it is, Young or, and I won't say, oh, mature, it, it's just that's what it is. You okay. Know, I, don't, I don't want to cut you off, but we got to wrap it up. We might have to do a part two of this shit. For sure. I might yes. have to bring y'all back for a part two. We got to do I should have just, I just, just fucking paid for two hours. We could have went <laughs> on. But part two. I like to think every last one of y'all from showing up because we all see that it's fucked up outside. Somebody clean off my car. I got you, baby. Don't worry about that. You You got all these men. You oh, all this good shit we've been in there talking. You You know, sometimes you have to teach people. All three of y'all. All All three of y'all. You don't have to ask the man to do nothing. No, 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 no. I know Cleese say you don't. Sit there, sis. Um, I, we, we, we wrapping it up, and i like to thank everybody for, for listening, watching, especially thanking my guest Carl Cliche, the beautiful ladies that showed up in this snow. We might have to come back with a part two. We we definitely got to come back. i like to thank Detroit Podcast for having us. Um, Please, you know, our views and comments is, is these – you know, gentlemen and women alone. And I got a page on uh, Detroit Podcast on Facebook. Leave me messages, comments. If y'all want to appear, bring up a good topic, please get in contact with me before we can make this happen. And um, thank Randy for coming out in this snow, thank making you, it here. Thank you, Randy. And um, we'll see y'all in two weeks. So please tune in for the next topic. So, thank y'all for coming in. Thank y'all. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you for having us.